Hi, it's Mike again. Welcome to my shop. Today I'm going to talk to you about a little hobby of mine that I've been doing for the last couple of years, and that is making your own uh, block planes or hand planes out of wood uh, and or metal. Um, i got a various of different ones that I've made over uh, the years here, but today, the video, um, I want to talk about this beautiful little uh, thumb plane that I've, I've been making for people for uh, uh, gifts, uh, Christmas gifts, and since it's Christmas time, uh, be a perfect uh, showcase to show this little uh, thumb plane that I made to use. So this plane actually utilizes um, a blade, a replacement blade that I got at Lee Valley Tools for their quince little uh, thumb plane that they have. So basically I just use that replacement blade and fit it into this uh, nice little thumb plane. This thumb plane is made out of maple with a rosewood uh, sole and little um, palm piece and again it's just some brass hardware that I turned down and it's pretty much you know you can make this in a couple hours and it makes a great little gift so what I'll be doing is kind of going through a series of pictures of how I made it and I also will book, uh, put up with some plans that you can download and um, go over how I made this plane. things that you may want to um, just take note of is that the grain orientation um, as described in this book here uh, the gray or grain orientation should be horizontal and that helps for uh, stabilize the plane and doesn't make it warp and keeps the sole as flat as possible but since it is made out of wood you know wood tends to uh, move in humidity um, and the other thing is, is that all I have is a slight a Danish oil or linseed oil um, I put on my planes. This one has just a, a two coats of uh, Danish oil, um, and you know you, that can buff to a really nice luster, and you can keep reapplying it uh, over time. And it, this will age to a really nice uh, a hue. Um, so over time, it'll just look like a nicely finely craft plane that somebody will enjoy for a long period of time. So I hope that inspires you to uh, make a few planes for somebody else or for yourself. And I also, when I give them to somebody, I make this nice little neat little keepsake box that uh, it's cool that you can store it in or um, when you wrap it up, it makes a neat little box. So uh, thanks for watching and I hope that inspires you. Good day.